Anyway, that's what really happened. Don't oh, worry, guys. They don't Rachel. they don't know about the bushfire. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. At least it's I not understand. the police. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved no! in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. It's terrible. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Hell no. Yes, I'm no. sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. Is what was such... that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Okay, let's defend Rachel. It's now our time to uh, do the favor. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But. Thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Mm. Accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. <laughs> Rachel confessed. I wonder how Chloe calling her a liar? got hers, you know? I confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Oh. Hook, <laughs> line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Man, I don't know. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me <laughs> claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Her mom is so mortified. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the place. Yay! Hell yeah. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Fucking hell. What? No. I will oh, have no. Skip Matthews so escort you to mom. clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Well, at least they, don't, they, they didn't get imprisoned. Come on, Chloe. In prison, because once the police find out who caused, who started the bushfire, 
It's going to be, oh my god. And Damon Merrick will be after them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. When will Rachel's mom know about the truth? I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi, Skip. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to. Another alternative. Uh, I mean, Sorry, alternate that my line. Totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenience. Alternate you, timeline, rather. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. That's what happens when you befriend Skip and listen to hey, his song. Uh, just wanted to say. It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks. Skip. The stuff I did You're in the first episode is um, affecting really care other you. stuff in Except my the second episode, dash. and I find it really Might amazing. Well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Especially the signature here. I'm not sure. Expelled. Oh god. It's starting to feel real. I'm not sure if defending Chloe triggered that because. In my other playthrough, wherein I didn't, you know, I just r ride along with, with Rachel, I was able to, you know, sign the, there, and yeah, well, throw, throw my books. Either that, or befri just befriending Rachel, would, uh, would trigger that, or would allow me to, to do that. But in this timeline, wherein we're like kind of lovers, trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. I can't seem to trigger the signature well. thing. But anyway, let's get our stash. Although we haven't really bought a new one from having Justin as my locker neighbor was. I haven't really bought a new one from Frank because we still owe him money. At this place. Oh, hey. Lots of... I had big plans for adding to this collage. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, let's get our... Finally. What okay, I actually maybe she's came here keeping for. Some extra... Whatever. For the rainy day. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Fast, Let's you? get ready to party.
I love Victoria's reaction. <laughs> Drama. I've just started playing Life is Strange 1 2 recently, and I've just played until the part before Kate started uh, killing herself. And I also just found out that the events in Life is Strange is kind of inspired by Twin Peaks. Later, Skip. Later. Oh, there's gonna be another variation here. If... I think if we're friends, Looks we're just like friends David's with here. with Rachel, we can hug. We have the option to hug Elliot. But if, like, we're, you know, complicated, it's complicated slash lovers, I don't know, with, with Rachel, then, uh, oh, it just says, for the tempest. Oh, that's see you later, or something like arrested. that. So anyway, I haven't watched Twin Peaks yet, but it's, but whenever I the, the stuff I heard, especially like how smokes. the main character there, no uh, Laura Palmer, I forgot, Laura something, no more curricular activities either. is kind of similar to Rachel, so... It's pretty exciting and at the same time sad that, you know, a good student like her, a good person like her, Elliot went downhill because of what morning. happened to, starting from what happened to his dad, to her dad. See you later, Chloe. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> he seems nice and, um, I don't know, caring? I mean, I don't know, between him and Warren, Max is Warren. See you later. Chloe. I kind of like Iliot more. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Right. And this is the scooter of Miss Grant. Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Oh, she loves science. And Miss Grant is a really nice professor. Hey. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell <laughs> bird. <laughs> if I were in li the Life is Strange At least I'll have, uh, universe, of if I'm living in the Life is Strange it's universe, it's or again. if I have more freedom like to... It. Um, to run the story, That's what they do I will make Chloe hang out with Elliot more instead of Rachel. Because and I don't want Chloe her to be, you know. To her disappointment. Which, of course, just Elliot seems to be a better influence to Chloe than Rachel. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Oh boy. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. She's my mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, Instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Oh, that's harsh, man. Soldiers put family and future above self Maybe it actually and has a point. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. Ouch. <laughs> you had a scholarship, Chloe. It actually has a point, that but... Means? What kind of opportunity oh, man, you gave don't up? Make me feel guilty. Do you want to work at the diner? 
There's nothing wrong with waiting nothing tables, wrong Mom. With that, you know. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know. Yeah, actually basically Maybe wasted her opportunity. Long enough to figure it out. Specialist is really good in science. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. You only care I'm about Joyce. You don't care about you Chloe. For the incident yesterday. If you if I were in Chloe's shoes, I'd be really pissed forward. with incident. God damn it. What incident? I'm just really Chloe was pissed with, out of with line. David. She insulted me. Swore at me. But you started it, dude. But dude. With an apology, Jerk ass. I'm willing to start over. This is what's annoying. Sure. With adults, Reset most of the time. Impressed. Well, although I am a, an adult now, but I'm I understand her. I mean, Chloe's on, situation. I assisting your mother in a few areas, like making sure that you are uh, no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Wow. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. It's a good what thing Justin fuck? got our stash. Her over, stash. We have to know or else. you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. They're David clean. And I have discussed it, and we oh. feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Alrighty. Let's just, you know, embarrass him by proving him wrong. Shit so badly. Although it's annoying that we let him invade our privacy, in a way. Because in episode, I mean, in, in the first Life is Strange, he started installing security cameras in our own house. Jesus, I mean, in Chloe's house. Oh, it's a candy Mikey gave us during the the D and D. Nice. What's annoying among adults is that they often ask respect. They just ask a one-way thing. You know they want to be respected, but they, they don't respect the kids or. Or Do people younger than them in general, general sometimes or most of the time. You're smug so, for someone who just got kicked out of school. I feel bad for the kids Chloe, and the uh, and the younger forgive younger me. teens and adults who are being treated like I like you. that. You were I used to be treated thing. like that too, I in a way. Well, I wasn't a delinquent like Chloe, no but excuse. you know. Joyce, parents snooping, parents snooping now. on your letters this when you're not, her. you know. Violating anything, you, it's David. really we need to start treating each other better. Fucked up, and that means all of us. We need a new beginning, a new chapter, one that will involve. Well, at least Chloe has a better mom together. than I do. What does that mean? <laughs> we both agree that the best thing for everyone oh, on this okay. stage is for me to move. So in. this is when they're gonna be get married soon. No fucking way, Chloe. After everything, oh, I really that's feel happened, bad. For Chloe, I need help. Exactly, we need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You know, problematic people like that. I mean, quote unquote, delinquent kids shouldn't be treated like that. They need more, you know, care. Mom, I, and I, uh, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. 
Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Oh boy. Oh, in the other timeline, in the other playthrough that I did, if you're nice with with uh, Joyce, you have you have the I think you you I I get I got to have the option to choose whether to get inside the car or not. But here, since I was rude to or emotional rather not rude, rude emotional with Joyce last time I mean in the he's first no episode home. not if he's there then I don't get to have Chloe. that option to choose let her go she'll come but I think it's just a false option because no matter what we'll always end up in the junkyard yep <laughs> How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Times like this, she needs people who really care for her. Well, that's what Rachel is now for her. I wonder why she and Elliot didn't quite click together. Maybe, I don't know. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Oh man. But rejoice! It's a new life. A new found freedom. And uh... Well... Years ago, I used to tutor a delinquent student, a delinquent teen, and uh, her parents used to tell everyone that she's hopeless, she got failing grades and all that, especially in math, but uh, if you try to like, make, at least make an effort to put yourself in her shoes and uh, be nice to her and understanding. Ugh. She can turn her life around. Well, she did. The 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 student that I that that I tutored back then. So this thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Battery. Well, guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. You're a long way from the beach. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? It's kind of creepy thinking about it. Don't tell me what to do. I always wanted a pet snake. Oh, me too. Instead, I got David. Both cat and, and snake. Everything. I I I love them. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Uh, ha, ha. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Hey, washing machine. We got all we need in this junkyard. This Matt has seen some things. Mostly feet. I hope the washing machine still works. And I think we got a ref over here. No, never mind. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. Oh. This car looks better than the other one. Just replace the door, maybe? And it seems cleaner too. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. The old car seems to be smelly and, and rusty and... I don't know. This one seems pretty new. Relatively new. Here so we maybe go. 
The I don't know, why glitter. couldn't she just replace the, the wheel maybe? And just uh, attach a new door? I don't know. Well, come to think of it, American she doesn't have rust. any... Sounds about We call right. that welding material? No, not going over there. Well, at least for the other, the old car, she can just, uh, you know, replace the battery. No welding needed. Welcome aboard. Shit. Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Risha seems like... S Got it. In, still in the beginning of the... Of the rebellion stage, while Chloe is kind of like in the advanced level already, so she can calculate the risk of doing things first. Unlike Rachel, who just you know do things out of out of out of a whim. The bad side is Chloe. Well, Chloe has the option to advice racial and and all that but since she's broken too you know the the foundation is kind of risky i mean kind of shaky she doesn't have enough leverage to to influence racial to improve their lives i mean she couldn't do it herself so i can't believe rachel set that fire i don't think she meant to but i also, don't think she didn't mean to. I, I really wish there's someone more responsible in, you know, in their team. Like, probably crazy that there are three so of them. Destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Oh my. Pretty. Oh my god. Sweet. <laughs> Illuminati. The eye sees all. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all seeing nope. eye. Nope. And no. Unfortunately. Hey! Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think that so. That looks pretty neat. And cozy. Although I doubt that that car smells nice. Your graffiti, Shit. dude, is kind of, all day. you know, moving. What the hell? I wonder what that's, what, what, what it means. In the other playthrough that I did, I, I made Chloe drew the other option, death something, and, and it says, Chloe Price. You're gonna die. So probably it's kind of like the same thing with the wings, because when you die, you you know you flap, you you grow angelic wings, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Just theorizing. But it's less scary. Did 
Yeah, Marshmallows. Hi. hi. I'd love to hang out with... With ghosts. Eating marshmallows. I mean... Why not? That bird is really sp spooky, man. That. What is the difference between a crow and a raven? I actually. Not sure. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Whoa. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Damn. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Well, preach it, girl. <laughs> For someone who started a bush fire. I mean, a forest fire. Why do you keep saying bush? So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. People of our KJB love candy. not sure if her dad is just being you know he just advised chloe as something like a subconscious thing damn you've been busy it's nothing just some junk i found lying around i really wish i i finished playing the first a life is strange freaky red light holy shit the all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he I kinda expected it. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea but what hey. really went down with us last night. Shit got I know pretty wild. Else you, you, you guys are will be in jail right now. Rachel, instead. that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> I was angry, 
I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh, but now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Actually, oh, if they get caught... Chloe, that's awful. I'm so about sorry. About starting the, the fire. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. They might not only end up in jail, they might also... Therapy. Get killed by Dane. You start. Kick back and Dame tell me Merrick. what's bothering you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, Doc. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell <laughs> me. That's the spirit. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. Okay, let's talk about David. Or fire. No, I don't want to talk about fire at this timeline. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's... Moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Hello? Stepdick? He's a uh, <laughs> stepdick. Because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. Poetic. May that I rhymes. Also suggest stepladder? What? She Why suggested that too in my other because playthrough. He climbs on your mom every night. Ew! <laughs> and pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her the life. The way you get someone it, got who inspired. Is also May I but add, Mike Jefferson, a knockout my God. in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks. Well, highly relatable. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Ah, oh, Rachel. Sorry. I Chloe is really sometimes. well adjusted because nah, she's been I'm just, through so much pain. Uh, I don't know. Already, well, Rachel. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. 
How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Oh, so Rachel is a uh, you couldn't be craving like him for even if you wanted sincerity. to. You're too or, awesome. Uh, the fact that you believe that makes me feel better. I can't remember the hipster's term for it. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go sincerity, clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Uh, not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. But oh, wait, I thought Percival Wells won't uh, remove her from the play anymore. Hey, or does he? Did I he mean that, that uh, after the show, maybe we could go do the something? The roles would be switched. Just you and me. Something criminal. Gracious, I mean, now I'm the understudy, I guess. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. In the previous playthrough that Just I did. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. I was able to quote unquote save Rachel from getting booted out of the play. But in this playthrough, we made Chloe Price save Rachel. Oh no, this is this is, this looks trouble. But nah, no no worries. Frank is a nice guy. But initially I thought he might kill Chloe or something because in, in episode one he was rude to her and Max. Oh that's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Why well, look here? Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Drugs. Is the password drugs? <laughs> Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude! It oh like man, now I remember here. that Shut thing up. about Frank you have a rough and, uh, night or something? and Risha. Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook I actually in the feel bad for Frankie. Go get it for me. I mean, for Frank. Who is that? Look up! Frank. God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. I really wish Rachel didn't play with his feelings. Or, you know, try to manipulate him. Or even Chloe. I, I don't really know. Fight the power. There's that rumor that. I mean, there's Dennis. a theory, rather, that dollars is a manipulative Way bitch, or became Ugh, a, gross. you know, hardcore manipulative bitch. And she just thinks about herself. Got it. Selfish bitch. That's why... Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Wow. That's an insane I love amount beans, of beans. Man. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive-thru order. Don't mind if oh, I yeah, do. Boy. Don't even <laughs> fucking think about it. Damn. Let's sneak. Wait, what is Frank he got a puppy? To? For real? It's Pompadour. Wow. 
interesting search history. Shit. The now this is down. where the problem about Zayman start started. Uh, why about the mill shouldn't have? I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total oh, massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. Oh, poor Delia. The dog at the entrance, that's 10k gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. Alright, and that whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this without. with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this right now. I just want to find who started the fart and burn his fucking face. Oh boy. This is really bad. We don't mess with Damon. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Oh! Oh, so. yeah. Damon. I mean, Pompadou. It's from Damon. He gave it to Frank. Oh, pressure 348. Alright. Kaboo, Pampadu. Ah, oh, it's adorable. Hey there. I don't, I don't like it's puppies okay, chewing, guy. chewing stuff and destroying. Oh, shit. It's Pompadou. Get up here! Strange shoes and pillows. Pompadour. Nice. You little killer. What is so cute? Yeah. Oh, Elliot. Hey. Another hog, really? Uh, no. <laughs> I wish Chloe has out with Elliot more. That pillow is. But you know, life is strange. We won't Sweet have drama. Flippy instrument of death. Gotta have drama. Because Blackwell's the premier university of Guess Frank drama gave queens. up on the stake. A throne nice chair. Fit for Frank. I actually like that chair. Floral. Why the guys I mean those tattooed shade guys? Love floral stuff. Frank and his BFF. Man. That's adorable. I wonder if Damon is still in is the first this life is strange. I think it is. Oh Ugh, man. Shit. But at least Chloe's dead. I'm in the red. It's not us, you know. Like Drews. My god. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Nice. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? No. The one I saw. The one out of with your so RV? many tattoos. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Uh, got a demand. Rachel would want to know more. Information. I bet I can convince Frank. It's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Oh, what's in your No, just kidding. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it. Serious Chloe. trouble. Shouldn't have opened my the mouth. shit. Juice in. I suppose. Thanks. 
for. But I got surprised when I first me. found out that her name is Sarah. Whatever. Because in the Reddit the forums, now? yeah, somebody I, opened uh, the game files and said that her name's that. Ruth. Crazy. Probably the devs Different changed it because the they found out from the. Oh. How about you? How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Mm. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck seventy-five? <laughs> what? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. Do you have it? Oh, has a summon bridge. No, just kidding. We'll get it later. Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your. Sorry. Crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. <laughs> Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? This douchebag. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Aye, aye, sir. What's in it for me? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot, <laughs> you still owe me. So, if I do this... Then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% yeah. cut of the money. We need all the money to get okay. out of this town. Yeah. Sure. Although that's not enough to survive. I'll do it. What's and the matter? And this Chloe and Rachel can work already. I mean, it are they even a little 18 tough. already? Uh, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this, come down, Fran. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with the we bit will of do cash it. and the truck fixed. Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Breaking bed. Love it. Welcome back to Blackwell. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Hey. We're still here. We're here too, I mean. This is really confusing. I thought we saved Rachel from getting booted out from the play. Or is it... Did, did Principal Wells just act sarcastic earlier i'm not sure i know right i should come hang around here during mm -hmm. finals oh bacon and Make eggs everybody and beans. jealous love it i love the kind of breakfast hey steph whoa hey calamastia surprised to see me on parole i told you wells was out to get you that text was a rare courtesy by the way I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Wow. Damn. Okay, lost cause. Tricks you know, on man. you, because I am the ultimate lost cause. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So, what are you doing here? Oh boy. Uh, seeing uh, Tempest, man. I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. 
It's not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. I'm not really into plays My as bad. well, but there you are certain plays it. that I, I enjoy Honestly, watching. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Hmm. Shoot. Rachel. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but... Not if you two were together. Well, thanks, Steph, for the uh, make a move. You know. So, are you uh, for asking permission? I mean, that's Rachel's business, or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me, well, Steph surely doesn't want to fight with with Chloe. I mean, I bet she's scared of Chloe or something like that. I'm. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Yes. It's this playthrough is uh, confusing. Mixed messages galore. <sighs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Better Steph. know the enemy. Have fun hush, storming hush. the castle. Just kidding. Now I think Steph is uh is, is sincere. Why yes, Chloe. Of course you may look through that. It's actually nice. Look at this ominous bird. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. She is. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. It's really pretty. Look at the costumes, man. I love the whoever made these artworks. Rachel I mean, the character would have decided the, the costume. house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Right. Locked. Figures. There's Evan putting his pretentious art above his safety. I wish there's an option to As just usual. sneak in through the window. In a way, I it's mean, kind of badass. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking oh, over your up, endless Evan. list of questionable Evan. decisions? Dude, why do you care about like questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence wow. is wasted. <laughs> Dude, Evan My just called me intelligent. The ultimate pretentious. Keep them straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. But Chloe is really highly suspicious. Hey, uh, because Evan? There are now as two people who as saw you look her right now. Hanging you can around still see in the that door. bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. Ouch. You see what happened? You need social skills, but no, seriously. Evan, it's just irritating. But out. actually, Evan Did you know has that? a point. It's fine. And the first sign of greatness is people disliking you. Wow. Word. A anyway, <laughs> you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Before I forget, I actually had a dream about that yellow bird. Well, not exactly that Bingo. bird, but I had a dream about if only those a, keys were unsupervised. A bird. What's Samuel working on? That's uh, color yellow. The sprinklers? And, uh, hey, Samuel. Well, in another playthrough, I busy? actually talked to Samuel, and it's pretty Chloe creepy. Price. I and, didn't uh, think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls just, so soon. Just watch. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. Right, you <laughs> are. 
what? <laughs> You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Elliot, madame. I mean... So... Uh, <laughs> I mean, Samuel is like the Elliot love Hampton? lady in Twin Peaks. Have you Peaks. seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Hmm. Pretty honest okay. guy, I suppose. Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. How about Drew? I'm... Is he around? Uh, <laughs> That's pretty deep, uh, looking man. for... Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has with much love and no. Oh. Room well, Drew really for fear. cares about. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that too. No one is just. The way Samuel talks thing. really creeps me out. Although he's what do you think very of, wise. Uh, Rachel Amber. Mm. Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. I wonder what that means. I don't. I don't That's understand. That's uh, deep. <laughs> in do the, you just make this shit up in the on first the fly, or do you like? Life is strange. Samuel said that Rachel beforehand. Amber is a prism. Are you angry all the time because you like <laughs> the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing nice, true intimacy with others? I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. And awkward. And I creepy. often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. My god. It feels like it's gonna skin us alive or something like that. Okay, gotcha. going back to the bird. Oh, It probably perfect. symbolizes, or it probably... You're welcome. A nice message for me. To pay attention to this scene, especially to what awesome. Evan now said. I'll I mean, Evan. Wait for say, Samuel wait to turn on the Evan. <laughs> that what Evan said to Chloe Price about focusing on what you're really passionate about, instead of like, you know, just running. I mean, going through the flow and blaming other people. Sorry, about it. Samuel. Nice. I love That's it when I, intellectual when I shit, get Samuel. quote unquote prophetic dreams. Although that was nice a symbolic work, dream Samuel. because I didn't dream about this game. I dreamed about a real bird, which you is color yellow. Sprinklers would be the key to getting inside the door. And I let it escape through the window. <laughs> I mean, not really escape. Let it fly out the window because I feel like it's trapped inside. We were inside something like a conference room or an office. Sorry about the bathroom. Okay, here we go. No time like the present. So, yeah. I kept wondering what the dream was about. Until I played Life is Strange episode 2. It's pretty neat, okay. huh? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? I'm on a secret mission. I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? <laughs> no. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Oh, well. No choice. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Mm. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. 
What's my official business? Dirty business. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask. Can I just like be among the bush? Just kidding. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, troll? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. Yeah. I think we made it. I'm just so confused right now. No. Still one more. Look the other way, man. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. Bathroom. That's the key. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego <laughs> utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Matthew. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown. Oh no, it's Frank. We gotta text Frank. <gasps> or at least let no Thank Frank God. about it. <sighs> I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Oh, speaking of. How's it going? Nah, no. I'm just at the entrance of the dorm. Man. Gotta hurry up, or else they might do something to Frank. I don't know. Sneaky, sneaky. I, I really wish there's an option to sneak through the windows. All right, which one is Drew's room? Because that would be more exciting. I mean, even if the rooms are on the other floors other levels there's still the first floor I mean the ground floor where we can uh, you know guess I'll never see my name on one of these I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway but it's interesting that we got to see the dorm I mean the, the boys dormitory <laughs> this time be lamer if he tried oh it's Elliot Hampton's room. In his room wonder what he's up to right now and this is where Chloe Price will regret his decisions. I mean, her decisions about hanging out with Rachel. No, just kidding. But really, seriously, Elliot is a good influence to Elliot her. Elliot does work really hard. I mean... I guess I'm happy for him. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own I way. I were in her shoes. Maybe he does belong But then to again, Black I'm not Chloe Price. I'm kind of like Max. I knew Elliot did well in class, but... I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Although too bad Max is like... You know, Max and Warren, so... I was just like, Chloe and Warren and then Elliot and Max. That would be awesome. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. The world breaks everyone. And afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? Deep to the bones, girl. Deep to the bones. What Elliot's shit? Elliot's mom seems nice. Can we see in his PC? Lucky Dana. Ah, Logan. Jesus. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a <laughs> nerd. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Yeah, it is so into Chloe Price, Jesus. 
See? I wish you talk more and hang out more or something like that. I don't know. But looky here. I got surprised wow. when I saw Elliot I looking like that. Show. I mean, I didn't expect him to Crazy that Elliot look like that. This picture he looks like so a long. nice, goody goody guy, preppy guy. Not like the bad boy here. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. <laughs> That's not half bad. Oh, it's kind of similar to the wings that we saw in the Illuminati. Okay. <laughs> Dark. Alive. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost there. The sun so welcoming and warm. And what's this? Fast light suits the living waters when the... Okay. La, la, secret eyes. Say yes. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. Yeah, they see her but don't see her. How is that so when all the world is negative and dark? And she cries out, a screaming rocket, trailing fire. Hmm. We know who he's talking about. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> are you are about to die. about me? How childish she <laughs> what is. The fuck, how lovely and how cruel. Her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Nice. I'm not really into the graffiti art that Chloe's into, but... I like Elliot it likes if to write poetry he tries about me, to be eh? poetic with <laughs> Elliot too. What do I want to say in response? Be poetic too, or at least try to. Emotional. Oh my loyal, god. Loyal. Introverted. Uh, odd. And... Talented? I guess I'm gonna give Chloe C for... Chloe's effort. <sighs> I'm no poet. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to Drew's room. Where is it? Eh, recollect. Probably Nathan's room, I suppose. Interesting poster. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome Kids. over the counter. And uh, even adults. Never, never try. Oh, s swimming. That reminds me. I want to check out the guy's bathroom what does it look like okay never mind yeah uh, definitely drew's room knock knock she really acts like a lesbian especially I with the way she knocks probably just get the money i mean i don't knock like that knocks too Hello? Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Probably up there, at the vent. I don't know. Let's uh, look Holy around. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. It's good that but the dinner choices are steak or steak. It's cool that he got a <sighs> for the love of God scholarship. I uh, didn't realize Drew was playing this football. good at sports. I bet he can't I wait mean, to get out of Arcadia Bay. I know, right? I mean, his family has financial Frank problems. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Do so, so many folks are shit out of luck around here. Ah, uh, this letter. At least Drew has some prospects. Oh. So this is from his dad. Drew, what an amazing game. I spent a day at the library again. Computers are my thing, you know, with that, but I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm gonna do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type an efficient book, taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on the damn ball, and there's nothing to worry about. <sighs> is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. How about 0909? A lot of numbers one, two, on one, here. Two. 
Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? I don't know, why not? But let's try 0909, maybe? Oh, what's this? Oh! Classy. Classy poster, okay. Don't get distracted, <laughs> They look so happy. Oh, it here's like Mikey. Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Stuff. Oh, and that's the, the figures. From the board game. I mean, the tabletop Mikey's game. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Plenty the of possible is, combinations here. Even if we here. actually lost. Oh, it's probably Drew's birthday or Mikey's. We might have failed to kill you, nice Durgaron. But something Dirt tells me Durgaron. Mikey's not through. Yet. <laughs> Bad guys don't usually look so obvious. But this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. <laughs> okay, let's not get distracted and try to crack the Z code. Let's try 0909. Damn it. How about Damn it. Drew's birthday? Nope. 1212, the Arcadia, whatever, Damn it. homeless address. Might actually need some help with this one. Let's ask Stas. Two two seven. Uh, worth a shot. Okay. Let's yes. Do it. This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Hello. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Now we have the cash. But unfortunately, I wish Chloe really sneaked in through the window. Okay. But maybe not. Not the money. Time to bust. And hello there, younger bro. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? <laughs> What are you doing here? Kalamastia. Looking forward to I you? was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro. But it's really weird. We gotta to go. Be inside Yesterday his wasn't room. enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Oh no. Look it's down. Damon. He's a really scary Shit. guy. You're making me think you're nervous about something. What's Drew? going on? What's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in I here. Know. We know what's going on. And don't say on. anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me It's interesting Where how Mike's I figures don't have it are right very now. symbolic of their situation right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah. Mm, I bet one. a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking <coughs> money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one... Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. I don't know.
stay with Mikey. I don't want Mikey to be beaten up next. And even Chloe too. That's what I initially thought. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. It's not okay. Hey, you are one tough kid. Especially if he, once he crushes yeah? his, his what about this? knees. Jesus. Good oh luck God. running on that knee now. Oh no, oh, good luck scholarship. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or I know their dad it'll needs be the money more. I talk to you next. But he might they Thank might him. get killed. So in the first round, I Drew, thought that this was the right okay. decision. Or I'm okay. it at least it feels like Blue that. Brother. But in my other playthrough, it seems like Thank you, Chloe. The thing that I Thank did you. there is better than whatever uh, I did here. Here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank Sorry, asked bro. me to. <laughs> I I didn't know. I I'm sorry, man. My dad. He he needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone okay. about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. This is what I did in the other place. Stop! Too. It's okay. I I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait. Are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? <laughs> that shut up guy bitch. at the mill? Eh. Doesn't matter. Needed it. No, let's not be aggressive, okay? I don't wanna be I don't want Chloe to be punched again. So what? He'll recover. Anyway, I'm here and I've got the money. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need that. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mikey. It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Oh Thanks, God. kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. I, I was trying to help. Damon wasn't going to stop until he had that money. You didn't solve anything. You just put us back where we started. Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, just leave us alone. I'm sorry. But look, no worries. They're gonna come to their I'm senses sorry. real sorry soon. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets, uh, does it? At least he's still alive. We'll be okay. What? Oh um, my god, this is so painful what are you to going watch. To do? <sighs> About Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This is. Uh... Mm. 
I don't know what to say, man. I wonder how my decisions here will carry over on episode 3. Man, I'm so excited to see that. I'm excited to resume playing life, the first Life is Strange 2. Maybe if I finish playing it, I'll understand the characters here better, especially Rachel. I really wish I get to finish that before episode 3 gets released. So I wouldn't be so confused, especially about, you know, how Rachel acted that way. I mean, whatever she will be doing real soon. In my first playthrough, by the way, when only Mikey was affected, I mean, was harmed instead of Drew, the stage was, you know, there, there was a light on the stage, so... This is the dark This day has edition. been so messed up, and that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel, <laughs> if I can find her. It's just around there. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Sup, <laughs> Mr. Keaton. If it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department, tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? I don't, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to role playing Chloe. <laughs> it probably is Whatever happens. a lie for her. <laughs> Indeed, that is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Oh man, <laughs> word. Let's just. If I know Steph, she must have been super excited to be the lion of the light board tonight. When it comes Sucks. to play, that's what I. That's that role is what what I want to do. I love lights, man. I don't want to act. Chloe I don't want to memorize the la lines and Firewatch. forget them on stage. Laser it's pretty light scary. Spectacular. La ble. Nathan. I wonder why Samantha please. is so Can't into do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. No, I almost... Listen to me. You don't well, they're understand. not a couple. I they suppose. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that? I can't is? even remember if Samantha is in the I first know, life stream. Because you show weakness. Just but like you're I doing right now. I think that Dad, when will Nathan you and Samantha that are siblings. And your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Ugh, I hate this. Nathan's dad. He reminds me of a college professor. An annoying college professor. A bossy mm -hmm. one. Who thinks he knows all, but no. Nope. Poor Nathan. Although, I don't actually like him either. Hey. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? 
<laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of what? you are really similar. Uh, how so, what the hell man? does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's no, hurt I stood up for help. him because I'm hoping that but whenever I by being to nice him, to him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Give him help because I don't know. My philosophy is like by being nice to someone bad, they might change their mind and not, you know, be Hitlerish, turn into Hitler later. Because the more you aggravate them, Nathan, the more they become, you know, dangerous. So you gotta dilute their fire. That's actually super helpful. I mean, not till you. What do you? What's the right term for that? Um, minimize the the their fire or whatever. Okay, let's go to Rachel? the women's area. Women's tent. Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh shit! 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 I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Hell yeah. Rachel might be taking no, the just road, kidding. But, not but in another timeline, I, know I supported Victoria. All I need to do is convince Victoria because I want to see her mess up on quit. stage. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of social suicide yeah what are you talking about but i really want to see going that to take advice from a loser like you you've seriously lost your mind do you see any members of the vortex club in this play news flash but nathan is theater well, isn't i think cool. nathan isn't a vortex club member People yet people love theater it's cool it's not. I don't know. High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends abandon you. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. Drama queen. You know the phrase drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Good luck. Chloe, you're being a little <laughs> harsh, don't you think? No. Well, Rachel is being triggered, nice. I suppose. She is? I am? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. Oh, I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater. You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit. The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. <laughs> you outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Yes. Yeah, I guess. I mean... Even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, 
who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. <sighs> oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed to hear. This playthrough, I mean, uh, this Chloe Prize okay. and this playthrough. Cool. It's a hug tea, hug mag magnet. Ah, I will offer you a highly For suspicious your instrument. Tea. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Christ. That was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. Hey, dude. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were going to pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. My Would brain that cells she could are bleeding. Manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas. Devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Hell no. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit. Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touche, fates. Touche. <gasps> Touche. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is go, a girl. vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. <laughs> oh, we could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? No. 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 She's being modest. We play improv games all well, the time. Well, in a way, because she's and acting tough. She's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? Slender shoulders. shoulders. <laughs> I'd say you're super fucked. Nobody really Chloe, cared about Victoria. Please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Stay happy. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Oh no, Frankie. The other playthrough is better with Ilya texting us instead of Frankie. Oh, no man. I'm sorry, I don't have your money. Hey, Elliot. <laughs> oh, so by the way, this is Damon. Say hello. It's pretty scary. Oh man. Never, never mess with this guy. I seriously, have to memorize all of this. Let's do this, Bryce. Thanks, Rachel. Although this is the part that I don't like. Memorizing lines. Part of the kingship, area of light, fix the basement, fire, blah blah. Our soul, King Song Ferdinand, blah blah blah. Okay. 
Inner liberty. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? We got it. <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. All right. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Tragedy. Dun 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 Got dun 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 tragedy. Uh, I'll give the spoopy face. Ugh, it killed my eyes. Wow. Being in this situation would really make your knees tremble. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best ah, pleasure. Chloe. Most fearless, generous So much spirit. cringe. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. I boarded the king's ship. Yes, I, I remember that. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My but brave good. spirit, who was so firm, so constant, just, you know, tried to memorize the line coil would at the last moment. His reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Hell is empty. Now let's change it a bit to be cried, exciting. Hell is here, and all the devils are here uh, because hell is here. <sighs> Close enough. But are <laughs> they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I don't know, but uh, let's uh, explore. I want to play her part. Me too. Me too, girl. I suppose. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Stand here, Chloe. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's so awkward, man. Not a hair perished. And, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In... Gr groups. I don't know. Troops. What's Juliet's ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But Mr. there's Keaton more work. is cringing hard. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My, uh, equality? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. That lies beyond my power to bestow. My liberty. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend nice, yeah. is acting in my service nice not ad -libs, man. excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. Mr. Keith, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then Shut why, up, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly and i fear if we set out in search of new uh fun you'll tire of me and uh then i'll be alone 
I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit. Say that to Chloe in the first life is strange. Most faithful friend. For but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes. I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Was that real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome bed. Drop on you both. A southwest blow on ye and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. <laughs> Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air, or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands.
Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. She is again. Hi, Sarah. That's what really happened. Don't worry, oh, guys. They don't Rachel. they don't know about the bushfire. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. At least it's I not understand. the police. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved no! in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. It's terrible. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Hell no. Yes, I'm no. sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Okay, let's defend Rachel. It's now our time to uh, do the favor. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But. Thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Mm. Accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. <laughs> Rachel confessed. I wonder how Chloe calling her a liar? got hers, you know? I confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Oh. Hook, line, <laughs> and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Man, I don't know. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me <laughs> claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Her mom is so mortified. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This my No shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to that's say problem when he too. finds out. Oh my god, I don't want to really we'll think about me. this anyway, drug I've got problem. More than enough to start us out. I always get their things. Never, never like really that. deal with drugs, or should I say, it's shit. Hush money, like deep shit. Any more questions? I mean, any problem except drugs, and probably Fine killing people. Fine then, drama yeah. queen. Where are we going? <laughs> You tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price 
quest Rachel Amber equal. New York. Hmm. <laughs> New York. Hell. New York City. Obviously. Anyway, that's what really happened. Don't worry, oh, guys. They don't, they don't know about the bushfire. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. At least it's I not understand. the police. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved no! in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. It's terrible. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Hell no. Yes, I'm no. sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. Is what was such... that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Okay, let's defend Rachel. It's now our time to uh, do the favor. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But. Thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Mm. Accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. <laughs> Rachel confessed. I wonder how Chloe calling her a liar? got hers, you know? I confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Oh. Hook, line, <laughs> and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Man, I don't know. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me <laughs> claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Her mom is so mortified. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. You know. I love the interior lights, but these kind of lights usually reminds me of mafia. All that, whatever. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she, um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel? Honey? 
You were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I... must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Uh, just leaving? I mean, just, you know... Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? I wanna go home dinner and have plans? dinner. I always thought uh, dinner was Chloe's something that mother. just sort of happens. Chloe, no. I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. So that we can meet, Don't you, you agree, know? Rachel? Yes, That's of course. Your personality Chloe, some more. would Get you join us for dinner? Please. Enemy. Uh, uh, the bad influence of course. for daughter. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? I have a feeling. Sure thing. That <laughs> Mrs. Rachel's Amber. dad really loves Rachel and okay. hates Chloe. I'm gonna go pack. It's very suspicious After of dinner, Chloe. we can make our break. You cool down here? Hurry back. Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. <laughs> Try doing it your whole life. And Chloe? We just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Why? Her dad is just an... Just some quality time You're with away. the Ambers. What could possibly but go I wrong? I think Rachel's mom likes Chloe. Oh, nice meta there. New York, Jesus Christ. Oh, hi, Steph. No! Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Is that bitterness? Or, I don't know. Hey, nice recliner, but I'm too shy to sit there. I'm not, you know. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Glasses. We are being snoopy. Damn, the Ambers are fancy as shit. Nice glasses and... Damn. Wonder if this is a family Hey, home. wall art. Inspired by Rothko, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I think that's an original who gives Damn, a shit. Damn, don't insult art. I'm, I feel Rachel and I slighted by that. childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Oh, another art there. Okay, let's talk to Mrs. Price. Let's have the crosswords first. Literally. Solved it. Oh man. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Hey. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Not without Mrs. Amber around. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Rachel? So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very... persuasive together. Persuasive? Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, 
loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Married life. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets. Stop! Right? Secrets? You might like slip, Chloe. Like attorney client <laughs> privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. I think in my other playthrough, I tried to just, you know, went on yeah. with just setting the table. What did you table. think of the play? Straight away. Rachel was typically amazing. Not chit chat. But I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I didn't really read it. Yes, that was apparent in your performance. <laughs> oh my god. Super Honestly, she, she looks cringy sorry, there. Was but that mean? At least she tried. No. I deserve it. And that was last minute, so, man. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If, if I was, could, please take I were in her place from the cupboard and set them on I the do table. way worse. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's <laughs> marriage before. Piece of cake. <laughs> Can't tag this whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay though. Oh man. Hmm. How to clear browser there history. You go. Followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. <laughs> Poor Rachel. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole Someone's lives. jelly, including me. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money and back. And Sarah's there too. Man. But why is she... I wouldn't want to why be on this guy's bad Sarah? side. Why did he kiss Sarah? Let's find out, man. It's getting interesting. They say all news is local, but damn. Hello. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. I know, right? Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. <laughs> so, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one. Half clearly. joke? Jokes are half meant, I mean. Usually What half do you meant. think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get comfortable. So Although in real life, I wouldn't do this. Like. I would be, you know... It's somehow way more boring and way... But this is the kind of life that I, I want. Imagine. Peaceful. It's Chill. crazy to picture Rachel growing and up stable. here and being happy here, at least with nice lighting before she met me. And, and good now music I'm too. Taking her away. <laughs> Although I don't really like is she jazz, taking but me away? it's uh, relaxing. This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away right. from. <sighs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. <sighs> No skeletons. 
Lots of shiny dishes, though. Oh, hi, Mikey. Oh, I hope I can still play football. Jesus. This is the part where I... Especially when I played the... The other route. It's where I realized that... The Chloe here isn't that heroic after all. I mean... Oh, hi mom. Oh man, I feel giddy not hanging out with her. Not spending time with her. This is what happens when you... Hang out with Rachel too much. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. Uh, stop being One, cringy. Two, three, sherry. Comical. Oh my god. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides you. Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? We've given her everything she could ask for. Yet... I'm not sure I buy the narrative you laid out this morning in the principal's office. Rachel is not known for following along with anything she doesn't want to. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Well, I guess he's uh. relieved that uh, Rachel is Thanks. having a distraction instead of uh, probably finding out his secret or probably he's relieved that she's not hanging out with the boys and suddenly getting pregnant yes, or something Chloe? what else <laughs> feel like I'm getting good at this only one last step as our guest you may do the honor of lighting the candles the lighter is in the school I've got my own. Oh. <laughs> you never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Yeah. Time to light some candles and... Thus, finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. I would love to use Cock Dracula, but I, that's what I chose in the other plate, so let's do this here instead. Got it. Frankenstein. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Everything, girl. Everything. What about that fire? <laughs> <coughs> Dinner's really good mom you're so Thank obvious you, girl the way the fire spreads so fast i've never heard of anything like it it's scary i i admit yeah. it's scary after those floods upstate i was overjoyed we had less rain this year who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous yeah especially you never know the, where a deadly comes spark will fire. come from it's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? You Why have no would clue anyone that do it's that? because of you, huh? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Now we have a second Thanks. Box. Nice. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember oh, what is God. most important to us. Family. Trigger. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever 
taken for granted. Richard, fucking blow me. Rachel? Oh god, my Chloe <laughs> here is Crap. pretty lame, I'm so you clumsy. know. <laughs> uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. Let's be badass. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Grateful, dead end. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. Client, whatever privilege I am. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then one day, a truck came along and turned him into a super responsible pancake. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Well, you're bringing this to yourself, dude. Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. I mean, James, you don't have to be that's defensive. That's unfair and also rude. If you're not hiding anything. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <coughs> Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. I have a feeling Chloe's, I mean, Rachel's mom went through the same experience as Chloe. Oh my god, this is dangerous. I hope, I hope Rachel won't burn their house down. Why can't you just tell me the fucking 
truth. Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. 